Hey folks, so let's continue with uh, session 5. This is going to be the multi-class logistic regression. And let's consider how to compute the gradient and the Haitian from, for a particular model, okay? So our model is going to be just um, multi-class logistic regression, as I was saying. Our density is just an exponential of uh, this um, um, the weight of WC uh, and X, and then we just normalize by all the Ws, okay? And let's just, to try to simplify a little bit the, the notation, uh, let's call mu uh, IC, the probability of being class C given our sample I, okay? And this is just uh, the same thing as, as the, as some S function of eta I C, okay? And eta is just the, this WC transpose X for, for the particular sample. And as always, our WIC is going to be just a one hot encoding for that particular class. So this XI is going to belong to one of those, of those classes. And now what we're going to do is, again, just put this in a, a shape that we are comfortable with. And this is the log probability of, of this thing over here, right? So, um, Again, this is going to be the log function. So this is the log of the whole data over here. So this is the multiplication of i equal to one up to n for all the data points. And then I'm going to multiply for all the classes. So this should be my multiplication from every single class. And this is going to be just the mu i c up to y i c, right? So I'm just going to take this probability, I'm going to multiply it together to get that thing. And if I just apply this logarithm inside, uh, I can simply um, transform these multiplications into summations. And this is the summation of i equal to one up to n and the summation of c equal one up to c. And then the mu i c, right? So this is just the y i log of mu i c, okay? And know that we're just computing the log uh, of this uh, whole distribution over here instead of the negative log likelihood as the Murphy book does. So we will end up with an, uh, an without the negative sign at the end, okay? So I can expand this and then I can just simply plug in my mu and I uh, values over here. And I end up with the summation of I equal to one up to N. And then I simply plug my definition of this uh, mu i over here. So I end up with this, the summation over here for each class. So this this would be my uh, my class C up to one up to big C of the y i C. And since this is the exponential, I can just simply take it out, right? And W C transpose X i minus the log of the whole summation that I have over here, right? Because it is in the denominator. So I have the log of the summation of C prime equal to one up to C of the exponential of W C prime transpose Xi, okay? And uh, notice that since this is the summation, I cannot, I cannot take it out of the log, right? Because I am summing here. And now what I want to do, again, since this does not have a, a closed form, I want to compute the gradient and the Haitian of this particular thing. So I'm going to start with the gradient over here. So we have the gradient of um, LW with respect of, of W, right? Okay, ignore that bar over there. And this is going to, to have a vector form, right? And in the middle, I'm going to have some, just the partial of W with respect of my my wi, okay? So let's focus on this particular thing in here, like this, this little guy in the middle, instead of just trying to solve for everything. And this will be as follows, right? We just take the partial with respect of a wc in here. And this is uh, just taking the derivative of this with respect of that guy, right? So this is the summation of all the data, because it won't, it won't help. Sorry, sorry, it won't go away. And now I can just take these, the derivative of these with respect of C, uh, a particular WC, then from this summation, 
all of them will be zero except one. And this is the WC that I'm making the, the derivative with respect to. So this is the yi c times this uh, xi, right? And then I need to do the same thing for the logarithm. So I do the derivative of the logarithm. So I need to do one minus one over whatever is inside. So I have the summation of the C primes exponent, sorry, the exponential of W C T X I, right? And then um, I need to do my chain rule. So it is going to be the multiplication of the derivative of the thing inside. So this is the derivative of just one exponential, exponential of the C T that I'm interested in and everything else will be zero times the derivative of whatever is inside of this thing, right? So it will be a xi over here. And now I can just simply uh, group things. And if you see, this is my definition of mu i that I have at the beginning, right? So I can transform this into mu i and simplify it back. So this is going to be the summation of i from one to n of y i c xi minus mu i c times xi. And this is basically just the summation of i equal to 1 up to n of y i c minus mu i c xi. And this is the same result that we had at the beginning with the other, um, with the other uh, definition with the single class. But now it is, it is a multi-cloud one. So if you remember, we need to have this in this particular shape over here. So we're going to have this particular summation for every single point in this vector. So that is equivalent to doing the some, some other product over here. So this is just the summation of every single i. And then of this yi minus mu i times xi. So notice that I'm, I'm transforming these um, dimension-wise vector into a vector that does not depend on in, in which uh, class I'm taking, okay? And if you want to compute this, again, as I was telling you, in the in the book, you had the negative log likelihood of this, so you will end up with the uh, swap sign for this, this particular shape over here, okay? Um, so that is for the gradient. So now we have we have our final, our final gradient over here, and we can do the same thing for the for the Hessian, and the Hessian will be just, uh, let me just squeeze it over here. And the Hessian will be just the second derivative of this thing, right? So the Hessian is going to be uh, the second derivative of this FW. And if you remember, this is just um, the partial of my, my function, right? Over the derivative with respect of of the parameter. So now I, I just need to transpose and then do the derivative just to maintain the shape. So this is the partial with respect of W of the transpose of what I had before. So um, this is just the summation of I equal one up to N of this thing Y I minus mu I times my X I transpose. Okay. And now I can just simply uh, do the derivative and since I'm doing the derivative in the same way as we did in here I can just simply uh, take the derivative with respect of one component instead of doing uh, in a vector form and then we just put it back together again so it will be simpler right so this particular shape over here is going to be uh, the derivative then of my of my gradient w in the component C transpose, right? W, sorry, WC. And this is again the summation I, so I'm just going to take this, this away, this again, and then just uh, do the, the derivative in here. Um, so the Y is constant, so I will end up just with this one. So it's just the mu I C times XI transpose, right? Um, minus over here mu i c x i transpose, right? And if I just put it back in my original form and uh, to see what I have inside, because I need to, to continue with my with with my chain rule, right? So I, I won't know what, what is inside of here. So this is what uh, I up to n the exponential w c transpose x i over the summation of c prime of the exponential 
wc transpose sorry uh, prime x i times x i transpose and um, now that I have it in, in this particular way, I can just do the, the apply this, this derivative, right? So remember like there is some partial in here that I still carrying, carrying out. Um, so this is, um, this should be the derivative of this times this plus the derivative of this over here times this, okay? So I'm just going to do my 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 chain rule as, as normal. So the derivative of the first part is just the exponential of WCT, because it's exponential, it won't change, over the summation of the C prime exponential WC prime TXI, okay? And then I just need to do the multiplication by my XI of this thing inside of here. Uh, let me bracket this and then I'm, I'm going to have a plus as I was telling you I need to do the derivative of the thing below, right? So this is going to be the exponential of WC TXI over this thing uh, CI exponential WC prime TXI square and this will just get a minus one in front, right? So I'm going to put just one minus one in here squeeze it out um, and then I need to do the, the derivative of the thing inside so this is again another exponential so this is going to be the exponential of uh, WCTXI and then I need to multiply again by the derivative of whatever is inside in here so this should be the derivative of my XI right uh, times some XI and this is again multiply by my xi transpose so don't forget it okay now i just need to um, put everything back so if you see here this is just the same term squared so this is basically just mu i square and this is mu i again right so i can just bring everything back so this is the summation of i equal to n of what of my mu i in c minus my mu i c square and this is multiplied by xi, right? Both of them are. So I can just simply take it out and factor it out, xi, xi, t. And again, as you see before, like this should have the same vector form as we had. And this multiplication, I just need to spread out in, in vector form so I can transform it again in, in this product. So my final form, if you wanted to to go back um, of this uh, gradient with respect to my W, not my component, the whole thing should be the outer part of this. So this is my, uh, and this should be a, a diagonal, right? Because I need to maintain the shape to multiply with this thing when it is not um, in a kind of component form. So this should be the diagonal of mu i okay minus the mu i mu i transpose times x i x i transpose so in here it doesn't matter because this is the component right but when i get it back into a vector we need to take care of that so that is an example of how you you do it and you go compute the urine duration and then now you can plug this back into our previous steps, right? Into the into the form that we had at the beginning, either to use gradient descent, stochastic gradient descent, or some other type of optimization. Okay. So uh, this is this part, and we are going to come back for another one in a little bit.